had some paints left over from doing this big painting, my 15 by 30 inch gallery wrapped. And I have a flip cup here that I didn't really care for. It has silicone. I used silicone on it. And you can kind of see some of the cells that were in it and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't care for it. Um, haven't cleaned it yet. So there's probably still a little bit of residue on here. Who knows? And what I did was I put just a little bit of sil silicone, like one to two little drops in there. Mixed it really well. And all my little leftover paints from that painting over there, I put in this cup. And I'm going to put my little blue silicone mixture in the bottom. Let's see what happens. See what we get. why not? Right? Testing a new pouring medium. Let's see how it does with silicone added. Like I said, these are just all the little tidbits of leftover paint that I had from the other painting that was inspired by Kathleen. So, okay. Here we go. We'll flip it over. There we go. Let it sit for a minute. Give it a chance for everything to rise to the top. You guys see okay? There we go. That's better. I'm taking everything down. My phone was down. Everything. So. Okay, well that sits. Oh, the silicone oil that I used was the Artist Loft. Can you see that or are you getting a glare? But yeah, it's the Artist Loft. Oh, too much. There we go. The Artist Loft, level one. Silicone oil. Two tiny little drops is all I put, and only in the deep blue. Get my torch ready. Why do we always do this? It's like it's like pushing the elevator button over and over again after you've already pushed it once. <laughs> it's gonna get here when it gets here. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oop, it's suction cup to the canvas. All right. Wow, that is very blue. Very blue. Give it a little bit of a lip. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Check that out. Go to that corner. Back to the center if I can. Now down that corner. Okay. And bring it back. This is just a little 8x8 eight eight level 2 canvas. Wow. That is amazing. Oop, kind of overstretched there. I thought it was going to be all blue at first. 
Oh, that's going to be some pretty skins down around here. Look at that. That is going to make some pretty jewelry. Okay. Oh, I love that ivory, the pearl. Pearl ivory, the decor, matte, matte metallic. Oh, what was that? Here it is. Yeah, ivory pearl. That next to that um, aged bronze with a little bit of a chocolate metallic from folk art. So pretty. There's a big bubble. Big, big bubble. Pop. Pop. Okay. I don't know. Do I torch it? See what happens. <laughs> There's so much going on already. That's so pretty. Oh, look at the green ones coming up. I have green. Yeah, good enough. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping, I'm stopping. I like that. Yeah, mix pouring medium. Plays nice with silicone. Wow. Oh my god. Let me bring you in. Okay. Wow. This right over here. Crazy. Crazy. It's been about an hour and a half, two hours, and the edges are starting to dry, and they're drying really nice, and just really pretty. Look at that metallic sparkle in there. I still can't get over those blue cells. So pretty. And there's where we swiped. Very pretty. Look at that. You can see all the little underlying colors. The blends of blue and brown and green and pearl, but yeah, none of it got muddy. None of it got muddy at all. Little blue cells in there. And then there's our flip cup that we did with the leftover paint and we put just a little teeny hint of silicone in the blue at the end of the cup. Look at how that's coming along. That is really pretty. Really pretty. Lots of green centered cells. Gorgeous. Look at those. Come on, focus. There we go. Oh, I had it. I had it. Tap on screen where you want to focus. There we go. That is pretty. Ooh. Look at all the separation of colors between the cells. All that pretty lacing. All that sparkle. Beautiful. Okay, thanks guys.